Hi and welcome to this video. My name is Brian from Brightech.co.uk. And in this video, we're going to be talking about Memtest 86 and Win Diagnostics by Microsoft. Now, these two programs will actually test your memory on your PC or laptop, and you just leave it. You just burn it to a CD, put it in, boot Windows to that CD, and let it run. Okay, they're very small programs, as you can see. I will put them up on my description so you can download them, and uh, just burn them to a burn them to an actual CD. Okay, now I'm going to be running these on an ISO image so you can actually see them in action on a virtual machine there. Okay, so if you're getting any problems with your PC as in locking up, uh, freezing, PCs freezing or crashing, uh, anything like that, it may be a problem with your memory as well. Uh, it could be another problem, but I mean the best thing to do is actually it's a process of elimination really. You test your memory um, you can swap out but I mean also you can run tests on it as well so if you test it and there's nothing wrong with it then you know to move on to your next piece of hardware or it could be like motherboard or so on and so on okay so these two people what we're going to do is run memtest86 first if it comes up with any errors then what I'd like to do is always run a second piece of software that's totally different just to see if it comes up with uh, the same errors or any other errors if it doesn't then obviously it might be a problem with the software so always run, always run two passes for two different bits of software. So let's get started anyway. I'm going to boot this up, so it will look a bit different to what you're going to look look like on yours because you're going to have it boot into a PC. Now once you boot this up, it's going to start running straight away on a default setting. That's that's perfectly fine to run that. Okay, the the place where you're interested in is here where it says pass and errors. Okay, this doesn't mean. Um, Pass as in passed. The test is passed. It means it's made uh, that how many passes across the full piece of memory. Okay, so you let that run, and if it says uh, one or two or three here, that means it's made three passes right away across every part of the memory to test it. Okay, and the errors will come up, and it will say three, two, four, whatever. And if there is there, then you've obviously got problems with your memory, and take it out and buy a new stick of memory. Okay. So this is the actual program as you can see here and if you see up the top you'll see another pass up there this is what it's doing up the top and you've got the test itself running now this will go up and down for every part of the memory it's actually scanning okay and the, you can see it a little change here you'll see it all changing as it goes if you want to sit there and watch it but I wouldn't advise it okay just leave it running you can see it going through the patterns now if you look down at the bottom here you can see some actually uh, commands you can actually push in. If you push C it will actually give you the actual command here. You can actually look. So if you push 1 now on the keyboard it will actually let you go in and say default test, skip current test or select your own test and so on and so on and so on. Okay. So if you want to go in the actual interface and change the way it scans you can do. You don't have to leave it on the default scan. Okay. So that's the actual uh, Memtest 86. There's not much else to it really, but that's pretty much it. You just put it in and run it and let it see if it gives you any um, errors. So I'm now going to boot up the other program. So I'm just going to shut this off and load up the other ISO image. So we can actually uh, see what the Microsoft one's like. Now the Microsoft one as well is pretty good as well. Don't write it off. I always like to use two two different bits of software, and they're ideal to have in your wallet at all times. You know, your CD wallet that you keep with all your little tools in for your PC stuff. They're sandy ones to have in there. Yeah. So as you can see, it's automatically starting to run the process of scanning the memory. Now, obviously, this is going to be slightly different because it's a virtual machine, and it, as you can see, it's coming up active, and you can see succeeded. Okay, so it will go through all the patterns. Okay, now if it comes up with error, you'll see it saying error, but it's actually going to run the whole passes all the way through, and hopefully it will be succeed all the way through. Okay, so this is pretty much um, you can see at the top there. It's on the top this time. You've got P for pause, X for exit, and T uh, for extended tests. Okay, so it's pretty much what it is really. Just stick it in, reboot the PC, boot to that CD and let the process run until it's finished the whole pass of the whole memory okay anyway I hope this has been some use to you on how to test your memory um, if you like these videos please subscribe to my channel if you've got any questions please comment um, 
or send me an email and I'll try and do my best to answer them. Any problems, send me an email and I'll try and help you out to fix it. Okay, got any requests for videos, uh, any videos that you want to see me or want me to make, just uh, send us an email. Okay, my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.